Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius for the month of July. It is a general reading, so um, that being said, it means that it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, um, I think we'll begin here with this seven of discs. It is at the heart of the reading and it speaks to, um, I get a, a feeling like you, you're assessing a situation, but there's something yet that you cannot see, uh, information perhaps you don't have in order to decide something, okay? You received some upsetting news. That's that's what starts this, uh, this off. So you get some news that upsets you, that causes you to uh, step back and take another look at the person or the situation, um, the news. But there's something or information you don't yet have. Still, um, it could be this person is deliberately keeping information from you or you feel that. And this could be uh, what makes you up m more upset. Uh, perhaps confronting this person, perhaps seeking uh, an explanation um, from this person for this news. Uh, this situation escalates um, and comes to an abrupt ending. Um, feeling betrayed, not seeing any way forward, uh, not seeing any way forward, something you're not seeing. This could be, because it, it seems like there could be hope here for a resolution, but maybe you're not seeing it at this time. It could be because you're lacking information. Um, this card suggests that somebody needs to look to the past at the mistakes of the past to find the solution. So we do have somebody looking back at a battle, but I think it is this battle or this conflict. Feeling like they don't have enough information. Yeah, see, uh, again, you get that it's five of swords. Five of swords is a repeating energy. Um, somebody's sitting stubbornly on a decision uh, to end this relationship, perhaps, because of somebody's behavior. Because they didn't have enough clarity. Taking a closer look at uh, the details. Um, to, as to whether you can move this forward or not. From this point of this, this conflict that happened because of news that was received. You, you, yeah, see this is about, and this is what's on your mind, is this um, Ace of Cups and whether or not you should give this person another chance because of something they did uh, or actually didn't do because they're just because they're telling me that they keep telling me that because of something they didn't do and and so maybe this person uh, didn't tell you something and you felt that that was a betrayal 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're saying yes. So, um, you, um, here you, you're trying to make a decision. You're very, uh, still very much emotionally attached to this person. Um, possibly you are in love with this person and you are uh, wondering whether to give them another chance. Uh, the two of swords, uh, this can be um, trying to look at it logically. Uh, your emotions could be getting in the way. Um, your passion for this person uh, and the emotions do affect this decision. And this is about um, uh, being able to move forward from here, being able to relight the flame. So it's like whatever happened here changed something for you, but still uh, you have um, these very strong emotions and desire to be with this person. Um, so it feels like the other person wants another chance, um, but you're trying to decide if you're going to give them that chance or not because maybe you're not happy with that explanation and you are unsure um, if in fact because of what happened that you actually do have uh, everything it takes to manifest this and right now for you it feels out of reach you're grieving over something that happened and this could be even the loss of a vision because of what happened you want you're trying to move away um trying to stick to your decision you're looking back at the obstacle um but you are missing this person and you have a lot of doubts, a lot of concerns as to whether this could go uh, for the long haul. You struggle with this uh, decision. Yeah, whether whether this uh, would last because um, it seems like there could have been a series of disappointments here that this is not the first time that you've felt uh, betrayed or, or deeply disappointed by this person, possibly for some, um, because you get that energy of, well, if there's, you know, I, I don't think this is going to go for the long term. I don't know if I want to give it another chance. It feels like it could be very fleeting. See, you want to do the right thing. You're not sure if you have the tools um, to, to, to establish or to um, to get this relationship back on its feet, to recover it, recuperate. It feels out of reach. And with that ace of, of, of wands there, that's an opportunity that is fleeting. So you're, uh, you're feeling like, um, you could be feeling like you could pick it up because there's still uh, passion here, but you could be feeling with what I'm seeing here, like it's not going to last. And so here we have the world. And so this is something that is culminating, you know, um, and, and this could go different ways. Some couples might tie the knot while others dis uh, decide that the partnership has reached the end of the road. This is representing a huge life-changing decision. Completion that can also bring bittersweet emotions to the surface. Um, it's looking back at the past. This card uh, says to don't live in the past, however. Um, but maybe it, it's, maybe you're finding, uh, depending on, 
uh, your values and your belief system, you might find it too difficult to forgive this person for uh, this, whatever caused this incident. So there are, uh, what I see here, uh, there, there, there's more information that is coming regarding this. Um, there is clarity and a new opportunity with regards to this situation of what, what you're grieving. Um, it will affect your decision uh, uh, with regards to, uh, because we have the Five of Cups again, something that feels out of reach and with regards to all of your fears. There's bits of information that uh, that is coming in, but I mean, it can go out as quickly as it comes in. Again, you have that air of something very fleeting. Um, so you have to pay attention, the sun is telling you. Information that can bring you clarity, having to do with uh, a new opportunity. Um, and then we have that Six of Swords. So this is, um, this can be a final decision that's being made to either part ways or stay in a union. But what I think it is, is that um, you do, uh, or, or you are able to, um, because the sun is here, and the sun uh, brings back the peace and the harmony. This information you're receiving can do this for the, the relationship. It can help you to overcome any difficulties. So what I feel it is, is that, um, that you um, are deciding because, yeah, with the world saying not to hold on to the past. So you're deciding to release whatever you've been holding or if you've been holding a grudge or if you've been finding it uh, hard to forgive, uh, to move past, you will be able to, uh, with the information that's coming, you will be able to move past this. You will be able to, um, um, to, uh, kind of forgive or find a way to forgive. You will uh, see the situation in a new light, perhaps. So any animosity that you were feeling will subside, allowing room for uh, uh, healing or growth. You, um, I got a grouchy dog over here. <laughs> Sorry, you might hear her growling. So, um, yeah, so uh, that's what I feel this is. I and, and, you know, uh, with regards to the new information that's coming in, you might now see uh, your partner in a new light uh, with, uh, a deeper level of understanding. And that is what can make the difference here. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, um, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.